Tonight could easily be the greatest night of our lives and I'm here for it. Honestly, I think this could be our last day of being poor. We had a great run, but I don't know how many more ramen noodle meals we're going to have in our lifetimes after Mike Evans goes over his reception total tonight. Right now, FanDuel is offering his receptions at 4.5 plus 132. I think that is way off. He's probably going to have five receptions in the first half. We have to take this over. Here's the thing. I don't know if you guys have watched the Buccaneers play football this season, but Baker Mayfield is in love with Mike Evans. Anyone with Chris Godwin on their fantasy team knows this. Mike Evans has been targeted 18 times this season, and the Buccaneers really haven't even had a trailing game script yet. I think that stops tonight. For starters, Tampa Bay is playing the Philadelphia Eagles. I get that the Bucs are 2-0, but come on, they're not a real 2-0 team. They were just in a dogfight with the Chicago Bears last week. Everybody saw it. They got a pick six with like two minutes left, which made it look like they smashed, but we all know they didn't. That was the Bears. They're terrible. Look it up. Point is, I think the Eagles are going to push these guys around tonight. And when that happens, Baker Mayfield is going to have to throw the ball a lot more than he really wants to. That's just how this stuff works. That's where Mike Evans comes into play. The Vikings had a similar situation against Philly in week two, and we saw Justin Jefferson pull in 11 catches. I know Mike Evans isn't Justin Jefferson, but we don't need 11. We just need five. Kendrick Bourne caught six on these guys in week one, so there's that too. My guess is Mike Evans is looking at a seven for 90 plus type night tonight. That just feels right. That's one move you can lock in right now. But there's going to be plenty more moves tonight closer to game time because we're going to live stream ourselves using the positive EV tool at Odds Jam. And if you followed along the last couple nights, you know exactly what that tool does. Finds bangers. We were hitting the button all weekend long. Everybody saw it and it worked out perfect. What that tool does is scans the market for line moves and the lines are moving like crazy before kickoff. Everybody knows that. So if you want to watch this live stream, me, Randall, and Nigel are going to be hitting the button around 4 p.m. Eastern time today. So definitely check that out. Subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss it. Honestly, I recommend you just hitting the button yourself all day long like I do. You can do that for two weeks for free when you use the promo code SLOP at checkout at Odds Jam. The link's in the description. Check it out. You won't be sorry. Before I go, though, DraftKings is doing the no sweat bet thing, so we might as well take advantage. Can't win if you don't bet. Plus, even if you lose, they'll give your money back up to 10 bucks. That feels right. I'm using mine on Puka Nakua, 100 plus receiving yards, plus 285. You could go 125 plus, plus 700, but I'm kind of wimping out here. The thing is, we have the free bet converter at Odds Jam that helps you convert your free bets into cash. So basically, if this thing loses, you can just convert your bonus bet back into cash and nothing ever happened. So it really is a free shot. I like free shots. There's no reason not to take them. The thing is, this isn't even that crazy. It's not plus 285 crazy. This kid's been targeted 35 times in just two NFL games. That's video game shit. It's hard to imagine this keeps up, but even if the volume slows down, I still think we're good. He just went for 147 receiving yards against one of the best defenses in the NFL last week. We're not really going out on edge by picking this. I'm just hoping Joe Burrow plays in this game, because if he does and the Bengals can actually move the ball, then the Rams are going to be forced to play along. Obviously, Puka would be in play if all that happens and we'd all get paid off. Even if he isn't, we still get our money back and we convert it back into cash using the free bet converter at Odds Jam. Feels like a win-win. I'll see you guys on the live stream at 4 p.m. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss that.